Recently, the Empire State Building underwent some major renovations. The building, once the tallest building in the world, and currently the tallest building in New York City, until the new One World Trade Center surpasses it in 2012, is a major tourist attraction. But that doesn't mean locals can't visit the famous landmark as well. With New York City's skyline ever-changing, and a difference in lighting from the time of day and weather, no trip to the top is ever the same. I recently took an exclusive tour of the building which highlighted some of the $500 million in major renovations that the developers hope will restore the architectural gem to its heyday. While much of the renovations went into energy efficiency, the famous lobby has also been restored. Additionally, visitors of the building no longer have to wait in the basement, and the long lines are a thing of the past. The gift shop has been moved off of the observation deck and onto the ground level, freeing up more room on the observation deck for visitors. The 86th floor is where the main observation deck is located, at a height of 1,050 feet. From here you can get stunning views of the surrounding New York metro area, with views stretching 75 miles on a good day. The cost to ascend to this height is about $25. The view is higher than the top of the rock observation deck at Rockefeller Center, but one of the benefits of top of the rock is that you can see and take amazing photos of the Empire State Building. Also, the views of Central Park are much better from top of the rock than the 86th floor of the Empire State Building. However, for about $15 more, you can take an elevator up another 250 feet to the 102nd floor observatory of the Empire State Building. This indoor area has even better views than the 86th floor. During my exclusive tour, we also visited the famed 103rd floor, which is not open to the general public. This area was intended for mooring dirigibles in the 1930s, however the outlandish idea never came to fruition. If you get the chance to ever visit the 103rd floor, it is a life-changing experience. Standing on the narrow two-foot wide ledge, all that separates you from nothingness is a knee-high wall. The Empire State Building is open 365 days a year, from 8am to 2am, 7 days a week. The last elevator goes up at 1.15am. No visit to New York City is complete without a trip to the Empire State Building.